This is it. This is an experiment in the future of live streaming. Twitch has been an uphill battle this entire time, and now they're changing. It, the, I mean, it sucks. It's been it's been a fucking massive struggle dragging people onto Twitch's website. So now we're going live for the first time on YouTube. 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 Will this be a, a huge mistake? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Am I hopeful? Kind of. I know, I know. Do I? I mean, I've been emboldened by the progress we've made on Field Trippin'. Today, I finished my final recording for episode one of Field Trippin' with Tim Butterly. July 3rd, we, unli we unleash it on the world right here on this very YouTube page. Our, our enemies tremble in the night, sensing something out in the darkness. What is that? It, it, something just beyond the tree line. I can't quite make it out. But I just know it makes me not feel good. And they don't know that it's us. It's us being retarded. But we're here. We're fucking... We're, we're going out on a limb. You know? I think... I, it, it, you know, do you know how difficult it is to go from the devil you know? Who knows what kind of can of worms I'm opening with motherfucking YouTube. And I don't, you know what the worst part is? Is I don't know anyone's fucking screen names. Everyone in the chat's a different person now. Tanner Fritz said, hey Tim, I only have two minutes. Just wanted to stop in and say, you rule. You are a beast. Thank you. Thanks. That's a, You know what? That's it. That's just a tiny little bit of wind in the hang glider. We're, we're airborne yet. I don't know, man. Hopefully, oh, hopefully this isn't a massive mistake. Hopefully the fucking scraps that t Twitch was sending me every month, we can figure out another way to get our hands on. Hopefully this jar of wine makes me feel good. All right, Chris Mack is Gaithan. Got it. Definitely delete that. Definitely don't dox yourself. Bro, please tell me you found your cat. Well, uh, I will give an update on the cat situation sh shortly. People are still trickling in. It's 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 gonna be it's gonna be. They're probably they're probably going. Oh, Tim's Tim's streaming. Let me just fire up Twitch. What the heck? He's not even here. But I promise, I I do have. You know, as a as a special treat for you guys following me over to here, I will give you I'll give you the closure that I received. There's a there's an answer. We have we have an answer. And that's coming up in just a bit on the fucking stream you're watching right now. But no, I spent the whole day recording just some um, finer details for for my brand new show Field Trip in July 3rd, this YouTube channel. And um, I'm very excited to share it with people and I'm also I'm I'm like giddy. I'm like I need to make a big deal about it because I'm working so hard on it, but also the idea of promoting myself properly makes me crave the the taste of gun oil never caught you on twitch brother but i've been a stoner dads fan and dad meat loyalist on youtube so i'm here for it dog citizen jp it's already paid off then do you like the stoner dad shirt rest rip in peace rip in peace brothers I'm just a big fan, and this is the first time I've caught you live. This is sick. All right, this is my suspicion. My suspicion is that we were dragging people over to Twitch, and I was very proud to become a partner over there, and I realize now that it doesn't fucking matter. It's, it's, it's not a measure of anything. It's not a rewarding relationship. And I think, I think, you know, we're going to take a slight step backwards. I think the, the subscription system was cool. And it made people, like, excited and eager to um, support, like, you know, guys at my level. And over here, I don't know that there's the same level of support. However, I just want you guys to know that, like, that that generous support over on Twitch kind of gets sucked up by the fat cats. So let's, 
let, let's take it. Let's take one step back and hopefully nine million steps forward. That's my plan. Philip, enjoy your overnight shift. We'll be we'll be in your pocket if you need us. Twitch can suck it. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to get away with playing copyrighted music over here, but I've already showed you guys all the cool jams I know. If there's anything new coming out, I'll definitely let you know. Over here, we'll just we'll just vibe out on video game music. I'm a boomer who prefers YouTube. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. On on we're about to fully utilize YouTube for the first time. I'm in the middle of making a fucking real show. Well, it is kind of just podcasting plus, but I'm in the middle of like f throwing myself into professionally producing something on my own for the first time, and we're going to be using it. Um, we're going to be utilizing YouTube in the way that you're you're kind of supposed to, which makes me feel like a boomer. And so you know, I I, I had enough numbers on Twitch that they should have at least. I don't know, been cool. And instead they can eat my ass. We can't do super chats yet. We can't even, I can't even monetize this channel and I'm not worried about it. I can't monetize this channel until I meet certain thresholds. So this truly is starting back from the beginning. Working website, 1000 subscriptions and 4000 watch hours for monetization. That's correct. And with your help, we'll, we'll all get there. And then, oh yeah, you like the orange rig? Oh yeah. Uh, you know what? People who, people don't th get to see my fucking sick ass rig because they don't care about Twitch are finally going to get to see, see some of my shredding. If YouTube could find a way to improve discoverability and emotes, they'd overshower Twitch in less than a year. Yeah, I mean, and even the emotes I never fully utilized. I'm, I'm mostly, you know, I guess emotes are pretty cool if you're watching someone who doesn't have time to respond to literally every comment, but I fucking do. I have, I have time to respond to literally every comment. I have, I have news on the Street Fighter 6 front. Damn, hold on. Yeah, okay. Let's see. We have a club. We have a Street Fighter club. There's three members already. Yes. Shout out to Victor Vaughn and Chicken Cutlet, dude. We've got, yo, we've got members in our, in our Street Fighter club. If you have Street Fighter 6, this is cross-platform. This is cross-platform club joining. It's FG Army. F-G-R-M-Y. Get the fuck in here. It's time to put your motherfucking quarters up. What's with the, what's up with the cat? Okay. I want to get into playing some Street Fighter. I want to. It's it's on site for anyone who wants to get in here with me. I'll I'll go in. I'll create a custom room if you guys put your fucking quarters up. But here's here's what's going on. Uh, if you if you missed this, this was on the dab meet. Um, sorry, I just want something to fidget with. This was on the dab meet. Um. Uh, Patreon this week. So we were talking about um, Pete Davidson made a phone call to the CEO of PETA. PETA was mad because Pete Davidson went to a dog store to buy a dog that he's specifically not allergic to. And it's a big, tr apparently, according to how aggressive he was in the voicemail, it's a big struggle for him finding a dog he's not allergic to. And he um, pulled this lady to shut the fuck up <laughs> and suck his dick and don't and don't mention him in the press and how it was kind of like a shitty move for her to um that's FG Army on Street Fighter 6 um it was a fucked up move for her to come out and release a press release saying Pete Davidson's a bad guy for buying a dog you should only adopt there's never a good reason to buy a dog from a breeder even if you're allergic and you can't adopt a, a normal dog so he told her to suck his dick. He said, shut the fuck up and suck my dick, you fucking bitch. And it was just so fucking cool and powerful. And it's exactly the kind of stuff people need to be doing. 
And it inspired me to revisit a cold case from 2021, wherein my precious family's cat, Lady Glitter Sparkle, who we adopted in, I believe, 2018 or 2019. So we had had her for like two or three years. Um, she got out of the house and she she was an outdoor cat for a while. When they when she was brought into the shelter, she was living outside kind of comfortably. And she was very chill, so it wasn't like she was like a skitty cat. So one day she went for a walk. She just left the house. Not totally ordinary for her, not normal, but she disappeared. She never came back. And she had come back once before, so we kind of held out hope. Uh, but whatever the case, she never showed up. We left food out for her every night for months. Every single day, we would take a walk out by this drainage ditch near our house where there was a load of feral cats. And we would get up to all the, like, we were just observing stray cats. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Every day for, it had to be a month or more. And the final piece of the puzzle is that we had her microchipped by a company called 24 Pet Watch. She was, she was chipped. I don't know. She was chipped before we brought her home from the adoption. So, and I think she also had all her vet, all her medical was done. So we, we have, we have the chip registered to us and we don't think about it ever again until she goes missing. And I call 24 pet watch and I tell them, Hey, my cat's missing. She's microchipped. I, I confirm all of my contact information, my address, my phone number that I think I was, I think I had to like pay them at some point. And they, so they, they take down my information. They open a case and I don't, I don't think I hear anything for a while. And then one day I get an email from 24 pet watch. Actually, huh? How about this? We're the perfect, we have the perfect setup. I can show you. I can, I can, I can kind of more clearly illustrate my case here. Give me just a moment. Okay, here we go. Here's a, here's a little bit of a um, let me see. So we got her in 2018, um, January 2020. I believe I that was the last time I updated our contact information, and then found pet March 11th, 2021. Here we go. Check this out. Dear Tim Butterly, we have great news to share with you that Lady Gl Glitter Sparkle with microchip number blah, 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 has been found. We would like to help you get Lady... Can you imagine my joy when I got this email? I could not believe it. I was beside myself. We were so worried. Um... I don't know why I got this email, March 17th. Dear Tim Butterly, we've attempted to contact you a number of times over the last few days to share the great news that Lady Glitter Sparkle with Microchip, she's been found. So obviously we played a little bit of phone tag or something like that. And so I, I get back on with them and they say, okay, we can confirm your cat was found. She was brought to a vet. She wa Her microchip was scanned. However, the people who found her have de declined to share their contact information with you. And I go, huh, that's pretty weird. That's interesting that they would do that. And I say, "Is that there must be some mistake. And she said, no, this kind of thing can happen from time to time. If you want, I could take your, your contact information and I can contact them and say, if, if it's okay with you guys he would like to be con like I could tell them to reach out to you and then we could just see what they do and so they do that and I never hear anything from them and so I call back uh, several more times over the next few weeks and I'm talking to sup supervisors I'm talking to anyone I can get my uh, phone on and the final answer over and over and over again is there's nothing we can do we can't share their information with you all we can do is ask them to contact you and I think they gave like a dead number or something. So it was just like, that's it. 
that's the end of the line. We, you, you there, they were a brick wall. And I didn't know what to do. I think I was asking, I was probably tweeting at the time, like, hey, can anyone help me, like, with, with like, legal advice against these people? And it just, nothing came of it. And eventually, you know, I was, I was still working my job at the time. Yeah, I was definitely still working my job. And we were in the middle of a ransomware attack. And it just, it, it I, the trail went cold. And so fast forward to Pete Davidson telling Peter to suck his dick. And I go, I guess it's not illegal. I guess I'm allowed to call 24 Pet Watch and tell them to suck my meat. And uh, I, I, I asked for, yeah, Mike Trainer, I, I asked for any information they could give me. And no one, no, it was just, it was the coldest shit I've ever experienced in my life. So fast forward to this week. Fast forward to two days ago, I say, I'm just going to tell these people to suck my fucking dick. And so I call them and an Indian lady answers and I instantly go into Bob mode. I go into Indian voice mode. This is my, by the way, every time I call somewhere where I'm like a paying customer and I need help and an Indian person picks up, I go Indian voice right out of the gate. Ooh, I love that drum that goes. Doom -goom. Doom -goom. That's one of my favorite instruments. I don't know what it's called. But um, I start explaining to this Indian lady, and I wonder if it's because I went Indian voice. I explained that in 2021, I lost a pet. No one helped me. I have the I have the microchip number. I'm just looking for the end of the story. And I said, thank you very much. I said, please, ma'am, I'm looking for my, my cat went missing in 2021. Do you understand what they did to my family? And she goes... Well, let me transfer you to someone who can help. And I go, what? This, by the way, this part of the story is all on the, this happened live on the Dad Me Patreon. Go check it out. Timpani sounds right. She was, she bought it until she said, and what, and what is your name, sir? And I said, my name is Tim Butterly. And she said, what? I said, Butterly is like butterfly without the F, man. And so she transfers me to someone who can help me. And I get a white guy named Jerry. And a white guy named Jerry wanted to hear the whole story. And was 1 million percent into helping me figure out what happened. He said, well, you're not. He said, I gave him the microchip number. And he said, you're not registered to this. And I said, maybe there's like a duplicate or something. He goes, but I can see that you used to be. And I go, what? I say, Jerry, what are you talking about? Ger Gerard, not Gerard, not Gerald, Gerard, my bad. And so he says, well, I can see that it was as, as of now is, is registered to a cat rescue in Philadelphia. And I go, what do you mean as of, he said as of today. I was like, you mean like today it was registered? That would be a weird coincidence. He goes, he goes, no, I just mean that that's what it's currently at. I'm like, all right, all right. And so we look up this cat sanctuary or uh, sanctuary? Rescue. Cat sanctuary sounds sick. And so um, I look up this cat rescue and we, we tried to call her on the show and we ran out of time before she would call us back. It was just, I left voicemails. Mike found her on Instagram and messenger, messaged her. And so it just, um, it was kind of a to be, to be continued. And I guess I'm going to have to update that. I mean, obviously there's a lot more people that are going to have to hear the end of this story. And wouldn't you know it, I'm not even five minutes after we end the dad meet Patreon, I get a call back from the number and it's Sharon the lady who runs the cat rescue and she goes okay so what's the story and I have to tell the story again and she goes wow like I, I I know she doesn't have an answer for me but she wants to help me and I go oh Sharon thank you and she goes okay let's start with the microchip number maybe I could maybe I could do something with that I give it to her she goes can you give me some time to work on this and call you back and I say Sharon even talking to you now is more than I expected to get out of this. And so I, I expect that it's about to go cold again. I expect she's never going to contact me again. She's going to block me or send me a voicemail. 
but she calls me back in 10, 15 minutes. And she says, hey, Tim, it's Sharon. Well, thank God for good record keeping. She finds a record of her, this cat coming through her uh, rescue. And it turns out a uh, lady was uh, rescued. Um, I want to say like three months later. Like three months later, she had spent a lot of time like just kicking around the neighborhood trying to get into people's houses. Um, she was a resourceful cat. Street cat, but also very friendly. And eventually a lady in the neighborhood, um, apparently she'd even put up signs and I just never saw them. And, you know, we live in kind of like a weird neighborhood where streets turn in on each other and you just never get around to some places. Um, she hits up the rescue, says, I'm going to take this cat in, find a foster for it. It's, got, it. it's looking for a home. And so they take her in and they take her to get checked out. They take her to have her medical shit checked and shots and stuff like that and the, the, they so she tells me the cat is scanned they check her microchip and 24 pet watch says it's unregistered at the time they were trying very hard to find this cat's owner the vet scans the microchip number they call pet fi pet 24 pet watch with it 24 pet watch says there's no owner and Sharon says, we wanted to be sure because it's pretty hard to get a cat, a rescue cat adopted. It's much easier to return it to its owner. So they sit on this cat for a while thinking maybe someone will come forward or maybe I'll see the signs in the neighborhood, which I didn't. And uh, a couple of months later, they find a permanent home for her, which they take you know pretty seriously. They make you go through an application process. They'll, they'll like deny people. And so the ending of the story is that Lady Glitter Sparkle ends up with a, uh, a very loving family. Uh, they've since moved away from the area. And um, the real ending of the story is Sharon, Sharon says, so listen, I don't know how to go about this, but I, I want you to know that if we're going to ask this family for the cat back that we should and I said Sharon God n I would never in a million years I would never in a million years go to this family who's had this lovely cat for two two years now I would never go to them and say that's my cat give it back that's her home now this family's very much obviously gotten attached it's not an option but I do have a burning desire in my heart to fuck with 24 Pet Watch now. Is this Stoner Dad's shirt being sold anywhere, somewhere? I think, um, I think Matt might have put up a link for it. Hold on, I gotta crack my chest. Check this out. See if you can hear this. Oh, I think that was it. 24 Pet Watch. It's gonna be, it's gonna be Podcast Wars with 24 Pet Watch. It's on site. So I'm not getting my cat back. And that's sad, but at the same time, I, I, and I told MJ this, that, you know, maybe we could finally tell the kids what really happened. For all, they, they don't know that we were denied. They don't know that someone else has their cat. And the way that I'm going to tell them is, uh, just by coincidence, my, my, my brother's ex-wife has a cat who just gave birth to like 12 kittens or something, and they're desperately trying to get rid of them. And so I have a beautiful little gray striped kitten coming my way. And I'm going to bring home new baby. I'm going to say, here's our new baby. Our dear cat, Andy, has a companion again. Uh, just so you guys know, you remember Lady. You remember how much you loved her. She would lick their heads. The kids would be sitting around watching TV, eating a snack, and Lady would be perched on the edge of the couch behind them, licking their heads like they were a baby cat. Take all 12. I fucking wish, man. And I'll say, just so you guys know, I have confirmation lady is alive and in a extremely loving home
Doesn't that make you so happy? <sighs> the universe does provide. Deadbeat cat dad. I'm not a deadbeat cat dad, bro. I tried. I threatened to smoke crack until they bring her home. Yeah, it is bittersweet. I'm glad it was, uh, you know, I'm glad it was compelling content um, on the Patreon. And to be honest, man, it's a story that needs to be told. And guess what? This is far from over. If 24 Pet Watch thinks that's as far as this goes, they got a, another thing coming. I'll fucking kill myself to ruin their business. And that's a promise. There's no way I let this go. You should feel warm and funny, fuzzy. We got a, we got a, this is to me. And I said this to Sharon, my friend who runs the cat rescue. And, uh, um, if, by the way, if, if you're thinking about adopting a cat in or around Philadelphia, consider heart to heart.com. That's H A R T two. And then heart like your organ H E A R T.com. She was an absolute delight of a woman who went really far out of her way for no benefit to herself, by the way. She went, she spent her entire night working on this for me, and there was no way for her to be compensated whatsoever. Maybe maybe I'll put together like a donation thing for her, but to be honest, I don't have that kind of scratch right now. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do to them yet, but they are definitely going to feel the wrath. One thing I'm considering is I'm going to find out. I, I might, uh, I have a private investigator friend who I may have doxed the CEO for me. And I'm going to find the nearest state to where he lives. That, uh, is a mutual combat state. And I'm going to demand satisfaction. I'm going to duel the CEO of 24 pet watch. But, like, uh, you know, so, all right, so that's the end of one chapter and the beginning of a new and exciting chapter, the redemption arc, where we make, we make them understand that, like, you don't do that shit to us. Is there a difference between revenge and vengeance? I guess that's an important distinction, but I don't fucking know. Watch, he just whoops your ass. I, I, I'd love for, I'd love for him to have a chance. I would love for him to, I would love for him to think that he's got a shot. Who knows? Maybe he's like a tech company bro, and he's like a jack dude in a very bespoke suit, and he's taking a couple of like fancy pants MMA classes, and he thinks maybe he's got something for me, and I just shred his shoulder. parent company CEO is a chick well I'll find out where they have um, mixed gender um, I'll trans I'll trans and beat the fuck out of this lady about to have a baby need the good vibes old Timmy dishes out thanks Tim oh dude oh man speaking of and I hate to keep harping on my brand new project field tripping but I finally have showed the bulk of episode one to um, people that aren't on the team namely I showed my older brother Paul because uh, we're going to create the theme song together and I showed my wife and my my wife is someone who obviously MJ is the queen of the universe I'm probably pointing directly to her through the basement floor she is someone who if I say is this funny her first response is to figure out whether or not it even makes sense. And then sometimes she'll even forget to get to the funny part. She'll just go, I don't know if I buy it. You know what I mean? And I like that feedback. And my older brother, Paul, him and his friends, when I was a kid, 
they were the funniest people in the world and I spent all my time trying to make them laugh and it was like steroids and he was mouth open laughing and when he wasn't laughing it was like big it's I'm t- telling you field tripping might be the most posy vibe shit of all time are you drinking red wine from a mason jar yes I think that's normal now though Damn, have fun at work, dehydrated Oddish. Oh man, I got a whole new set of screen names to get rid of. I mean, to get used to. <laughs> Violence and doxing on the first stream, this should go well over here. I'm not, I'm not doxing anyone. I, I'm going to have someone doxed for me. So there's a, there's a chance that people get their hands on um, field tripping and they say, this is a little bit, you know, gay for me. And I'll go totally get it, but I showed I showed the people who know me the best, and they go, "Whoa, you're really showing people who you are now." Why YouTube and not Twitch? Because Twitch uh, just released a new um, partner agreement, and in this brand new partner agreement, they're saying that you can't have your own advertising, which I haven't done, and I didn't have any concrete plans to do. But you don't really make any money from Twitch ads. Every dollar, almost, I would say 99.9999% of the money I've made from Twitch has been people either donating or dom scribing. And they take like, I think more than 50% of the dom scription money. So it's like they're really squeezing you and now they made it impossible to do any kind of outside advertising and that's the only thing I'm actually interested in. Finding someone that like is actually into what we're doing. I create the, like the way that we do on Dad Meet. Someone that's interesting and like do, interested in doing business with us and then I get to do like the, the storytelling part of the advertising and it's like it becomes part of the content and I, and I feel excited about it. And they've made it literally impossible to do or you have to like pay them and shit. So we're trying YouTube for a while, and we'll see what the fuck is up. Thoughts on King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard? This might be the most... This bit, This might be the band people ask me about the most. And I don't understand why. I guess that they kind of line up with my vibe, but there's something going on where people always want to know what I think about them. And I'll say they have some S-plus tier jams. But they also just have too goddamn many songs. They need someone to tell them to stop recording. Yeah, I, I saw that they were going back on it, but... I'm telling you, dude, the, they, they really suck you dry on the, uh, on the Dom descriptions. And that's people paying out of their pockets. So think about this. I'm a comedian. I'm never going to be a professional gamer. And all beyond, beyond, past that, I'm probably 10 years older than, like, the average Twitch creator. And honestly, at that point, at that age, on at, I'm 37. If you're 27 on Twitch, you're already kind of old. So, the people that I already make content for and to, I say, come check out my stream. I have to drag them to Twitch. They're all on YouTube already. This has to be an easier path. Yeah, Twitch said, yeah, Twitch, I guess they did an apology and said they missed the mark, but never actually changed the terms of service. But they also uh, sent me a new partner agreement to sign. So, suck my meat. Twitch is lame. Let's shake things up. And I think, I, I think Twitch was, uh, you know, it felt cool to be cool. It felt cool to be a partner, but it's time, it's time to, it's time to set up home base on this YouTube channel. It's time to get field tripping going. It's time to possibly do a more dedicated gaming content. Um, and, and when you see how much work I'm putting in the field tripping and how much extra content I'm trying to create for it, I think it'll be great to house it all right here uh, on youtube.com slash Tim Butterly. 
I got I I can't set up membership memberships on here until I cross a certain threshold of um, watched hours. So it help it actually helps me. It helps me for field tripping to stream over here as well. So I you know I think I took Twitch as far as any comedian even nearer my level could and uh, I, I just don't feel like doing battle to take it any further I'd, I'd like to I'd like to focus on over here I, I can really focus and you know what I'm not I, I'm done explaining it because I'm realizing that you just sound like you just sound like Brendan Shaw when you explain anything yeah man <laughs> wasn't really making that much money on Twitch turns out I'm actually not that popular uh I can't really generate enough interest in myself, and then my content's not that good. Uh, so, I found, you know, a scapegoat. I'm going to call it Twitch. I'm going to say it was Twitch's fault. I'm on YouTube now. Would you play the viewers in Street Fighter? Yeah, that's the plan tonight, actually. Oh, man, I wish I could show you. Uh, I'm glad I can't. But I wish I just could show you. Man, Naeem is so cool and funny. And he's my first guest on Field Trippin'. And then, um... Tomorrow, we're shooting episode 4 with Sam Talent. And I'm fucking geeking, man. I'm fucking geeking. I'm, I get to... First of all, I just get to hang out with Sam. And then second, there's going to be a recording of it. And the, the only point is that we're just meeting up to have a good time. That's my, that's my, that's my basic pitch, by the way. So Naeem is first ep. Yeah, Naeem is the first ep. And it's easy. It's easy to do first episode with, um. No, he's just he, without me. Without me in the room, he's so charismatic. And then when I get when I in the same when I'm in the same room as Naeem, we have too much fucking fun. And it, it was just so easy to film and establish kind of like the point of what we're doing. And then episode two is Mike Cannon uh, at the Central Park Zoo, which uh, you know, there's some significance there. Cannon was like the first dude who had no idea who I was, who was like nice to me in New York. And I respect him a lot and I have a lot of fun with him and taking him to the zoo where he revealed that he used to work there uh, handling children's parties ended up in one of the funniest scenarios ever. Also, it was cool that we shot and we filmed it in Central Park, which I found out is like you're supposed to get some pretty high level um like permits and they're very expensive and we just didn't do anything that so it's like kind of like we gorilla filmed it yes this is just on youtube no twitch come on keep up uh episode three is blizz at the um electronic synthesizer sound bath And that was a fucking blast. And on that episode specifically, Noah was... So, by the way, for field trip, my sidekick is Noah. And um, Noah was so funny on that. And he was so invo like invested in it. And then uh, episode four, Sam Talent. And then if I, if I get this right, I think... We have an episode coming up. We're shooting the Preble Frog Pole with our guest Drew Montana, where he's going to be racing frogs against the rest of Do Rag and the Deer Tag. And then I believe after that, it's Gomez. And then we'll round it out. I'm thinking um, Ian and or Jordan. Um, maybe the Are You Garbage guys, if they'll be able to make time. Um, and final episode is Endless Summer with Matt McCusker. So I have an eight episode season planned out. Um, I'm, I don't know if you, if you dig my vibe, I think we're, I think we've captured and processed it. I will try to get Gerbys to do one and, um, 
shooting it is also a little bit of a challenge and it takes up an entire day and I just I want to just do people with the time and energy for it right now and then if this is received well and we can make the next batch of them or hopefully just get into a production cycle where we're just always making it uh, it'll be easier to get someone like um, Steve Gerben season 2 needs Spud Man yeah season 1 needs Spud Man Has, um, has Are You Garbage ever done, like, a Coney Island thing? I thought it'd be interesting to... I thought it'd be interesting to take Are You Garbage dudes to Coney Island for an episode. Twitch episode, Million Foot Tall Hotel with Noah was incredible. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, on this YouTube page, you can go see um, a Twitch stream that Noah and I did. It ended up being like a three-hour podcast, essentially. It's called Million Foot Tall Hotel. And um, that was the day where I realized that, like, oh, I could... Noah's down for whatever cause. And uh, we'll, we'll have a good time. Yeah, I want to get spot on. I'm going to do a art art history episode with Ryan Shaner where uh, we're going to tour some art museums. And then um, he and I and Noah will uh, retire to our studio where we'll have easels set up and we'll try to create masterpieces and then we'll give them away. Noah is such a good boy. I know this may be a burnt out over asked question but what happened with stoner dads you guys were super vague about the hiatus and i can't tell if you guys left it open ended for a reason um do you, if i mean the the creative in me wants to say that we weren't being challenged enough and the pragmatist in me says that like to actually take it to the next level required more of a time commitment than anyone specifically Matt, who has a very successful career, could really put into it. That's that's honestly the God's honest truth is that I, I, in some ways I feel like Matt was pushing me out of the nest. I blame myself. You could blame me for Stoner Dad's fail, not failing for ending. Let's say, let's say, um. Let's say I've done a lot of touring with Matt. I've done a lot of podcasting with Matt. He, to me, he is the funniest guy in the entire world. And uh, he's pushing me very hard to uh, create success for myself. And um, I just see, I just saw Stoner Dads as just like too easy of a path for me, but also not, um, you know, I don't know. Uh, here's what I'll... Uh, let me end it on this. I'm continuing what I had going on in Stoner Dads and Field Tripping. Stoner Dads was just okay compared to Dad Meat and Matt and Shane's. What the fuck? Hmm. They said it was too difficult getting so high and trying to parent and do other work. I never said that. Who the fuck said that? I didn't say that. I'm fucking high right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm still getting so high and drinking so much coffee every morning that my piss smells like hot dogs at lunchtime. And I'm smiling until the sun goes down. It did not. Yeah, it wasted an entire day for all of them. No, it didn't. Who said that? <laughs> what the heck? We just need the tomb in another cast. I will utilize the tomb. I just discovered Delco proper. Not sure what happened with that. But that shit was very funny. And Tim, you were a beast. Yeah, I mean, I blame myself for that too. I sucked at that. Um, did Sydney ever attempt to bench 225 more times than that gay dude did? No. Let's play as DJ today. Maybe I'll run some combo uh, trials the same and then jump into multiplayer with him. What head and cab you got going back there? That, is, I'm very proud to say, is my orange rocker verb 50. Mark 3. I mean, 
You guys know you guys know the sound that you get out of these things, right? You guys know these things, right? Can you hear this? Yo, Butterly, will you be doing more? Oh, hold on a second. Will you be doing more guitar talk and stuff? I've known you're into this stuff, but today's the first day I've seen you touching one. I've been teaching myself for around seven months, so I'd be interested. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, hopefully I, I can get, I, I would love to be able to play music often enough that, um, that I could maybe open for whatever new, ba new metal band, um, book, Lewis books for Skankfest. Center Dads was the greatest pot of all time. We were not worthy of his glory. Tim's new project will educate us on how to be worthy in the future. Yeah, dude, my wife, so. Offset guitar, orange amp, soy 1000%. Yup. Yeah, you can't, you guaranteed you can't beat me. Don't even type soy in my fucking channel, dude. Um, orange is dope. I play bass and normally I rip heart key amps, but I recently got put on orange. I mean, everyone's into orange. It's just I had um an opportunity to snag one of these and I did. But if you're just joining us on YouTube and you never come over to Twitch, I fucking rip that thing all the time. It's great for story time sometimes. No, joy, not soy. My bad. <laughs> uh, you should check out, and said you should check out if Cedar Point still does the thing where you try to ride all the coasters in one day. Oh, that'd be great. I just found out how sick the roller coasters at Hershey Park are, and it definitely got my oh, fucking wiener wiggling. Any plan to play Diablo 4? I'm gonna say probably not, man. I got kind of disillusioned with the loot grind in Diablo. Should play Thrill of the Fight 2 when it comes out. Is that the VR one? Yeah, absolutely will. Did you have a Marantz or something you showed us a couple months back? No. All right, let's play. Let's play a couple of ranked matches. Let's play a couple of ranked Ken matches, and I'm using. This is my first time playing Street Fighter Fit Six with my fight stick. We're using our extremely, probably Chinese-made Mayflash Universal Arcade Stick F Five Hundred V Two. Tim, Matt seems like he is ascending incredibly hard right now. Yeah, you better believe he is. Yes, I'm extremely pumped for Armored Core. Let's go. Well, hopefully the buttons are what I think they are. Okay. Uh oh. I'm Ken, by the way. If you couldn't guess. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but I think I got it. Whoa. 
Ah. Big adjustment, really. Huge adjustment from from the controller. It also feels like it's a little bit high for me and it's not quite angled properly. And I'm not getting every input that I need to be. That was better. Ah! Okay. No, oh, she got me with a good one. Ooh, I didn't know that dodged that like that. I didn't need to do that. I could have beat her without that. Can you clan up in armor core? I would love to do that. Actually, I would love to group up in this. And again, if you have Street Fighter 6, we have a club. It's called FG Army. F-G-R-M-Y. Oh, what's up, bitch? I love that parry. Oh, no. No, ah! no, good combo. No, don't kill me. This is a trillion hit combo. Oh, I would love some Elden Ring DLC as well. Nice game. She got me. I wonder if I could join my PS4. I think it's uh, cross-platform, bro. Oh, shit. Gay sex you can. Come on, bitch. Ooh, I thought that was a regular spinny. Nice combo. Nice throw. Fuck! She woke up at the end and beat my fucking wiener in. Totally, this is a warm-up series. Does she have a skim of the bush? Do not make me hard right now, please. I got a round in! Let's go! Man, Cammy's so cool and smart. I like how she's like, so like, interesting and nice. Let's walk her down. Let's do Ken stuff! No, nah, I almost got over it. No! Alright, I am not really doing great with the um, stick, I will admit. I can't let her out of the corner like that. That was so stupid. Oh, man. She got me. Whoa, that's a nice moonlit view of the- God damn, she's so hot. Please let me rematch. Please. I'll do whatever you want. I'll- Do you need groceries?
That was my first ever match with the stick. Wish the air conditioner was pumping harder. I haven't even played against Dalsim yet. I'm still very new at this. But dude. Alright, this is probably going to frustrate me. Yeah. Nah. Ah! Alright. This controller is so nice. So it's the May Flash J500 V2, I guess? It feels so good. No! Eye drops, please. That's right. <sighs> I would do a great Gandhi. No, that's it, forbidden. Was he really nasty with young ladies? As they say. You don't ever know who to believe anymore. Uh, I'm not getting my rolled combos out really well. That was easy. I never put my eye drops in, did I? Let's do it again. Maybe he was hustling me. Yeah, he laid in bed with them so he wouldn't be tempted by them. And it's like, tight hustle, dude. No! My, my, like, my preloaded, like, movements for combos are not really getting me where I need them to. Let's go. That's a dub. Oh, hey, MJ's in here. MJ, please. Non-biased. Forget you're my wife. Tell them about field tripping. Your thoughts. I dragged her to the studio and I made her sit there. We worked an entire, you know, half day. We usually work like full eight hour days when we're in production. I made her sit there for the entire day as I... Re Recorded my voiceovers and watched test footage and tell them what you think of it. We did it. All right, that's two in a row. Let's go. That's it. We're getting it there. Guys, we're up to, I would say, so uh, it, it tells me right now we're at 72 live viewers. We're, I thought we were going to hit maybe 15. I thought we were going to be starting from seriously scratch. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to be sitting here with 72 fucking absolute retards right now. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'm going to make you proud in Street Fighter, and then if uh, if it's possible, we'll get um, some challenge matches going. This guy's got my number. 
Oh, he knows to throw me. He's got it all down. He knows exactly how to play Ken. Yeah, I made a creative character. I don't know if it was visible yet. Oh, he knows! Dude, I gotta figure out what this guy's doing and copy him. Oh man, I didn't think I was that close to him. All right, next one, next one, next one. I wanna do it again. There's no way it goes that way twice. I can't, I can't, like. I'm trying to combo that into a nasty Tatsu fucking Kumchin, and it's just not going the way I want it to. How do you like it, bro? All right, that was not good. I fucked up. Wow. No! Fuck! Oh shit! Woo! We got him. I'm telling you, man, I'm the king of the rematch. Let's do it again. Baited him. Fuck! He's so good at that. Woo! Come on, man. Come on, man. 
That's alright, I can lose one. Let me reposition myself real quick. Get this out of my way. Oop, it's wobbly. It's wobbly. Get the shit out of my face. There we go, that's a little bit better. What a bitch! What a fucking loser! Can't hang! Can't fucking bang! Let's go! Um, I'm on top, dude. That was best of three, right? You get the rematch, you get back in there. Yeah, GG's. Handshakes. This is probably the same Ken. Someone check the username for me. Tell me this is the same Ken. Ooh, a Japanese guy. Yeah, I like it. Oh, it's Devil May Cry outfit, by the way. No! Uh-oh. Okay. Ah! It's shaking my whole desk when I use the uh, control or the joystick. That's not good. Oh no! He did a good job. He did a great job, Chet. Kenny Wilson's here. Now we're partying. Time to sit on my motherfucking legs. Yeah, I'm winning. Let me still win this. Oh no, he threw out of it! I deserve that loss. I was humbled. I got too high on myself and now I'm a motherfucking loser. Pay attention to me, kids. Don't do what I do. Uncle Ron is here. The motherfucking legend. The IRL OG himself. Constantly. Fuck me, dude. Ugh, that's Ken shit. All right, this is my last Ken match. We'll switch. Or does anyone want to hop in a custom room and get after it? Yeah, this is joystick right now. after that part. Let's go.
No, I can't let him win this. What? That's... No, he whiffed and I blocked. There's no way that touched. Fuck, I'm a loser! I stink at video games! No! Let's quit ranked matches. I'll set up a, I'll throw up a custom room for now. I'll go get a drink. I'll come back. Create room. Singles, one on one. Um, RB, RB, players up to 16, no reserved. All public. Passcode is 6969. Create room. I'll be right back as soon as I get a motherfucking drink. There it is. That's the room. Passcode 6969. Join on Girthworm Tim. Welcome back to Red Wine and Ass Beatings with old motherfucking Timmy Butterly. All right. Uh, chicken Cutlet, who I believe, is that, you're in the, you're in the gang already. You're in the FG army. Is that, is that not right? And he's Silver League, so he's going to fuck me up. Chicken Cutlet, prepare yourself. Come on. Don't expect me to be a pushover. I don't want. 
Oh, he's got the cool outfit too. How do you get that? I tried to counter that, but it didn't work. Okay. God damn it! How do you get that red outfit? How do you get the throwback duds? Oh, you fucking dickhead. Whoa, no. Yes, that should work. I ain't mashing. Suck me, dude. I am not mashing. That you don't get that far to match. You don't come back from that with mashing, dude. There's no mashing that gets you out of that. How do you get a, a different character? Shut up! I just like Ken. I played him a lot when MJ was pregnant with her firstborn, and I don't know. It holds a place in my heart. Fuck, oh, dude. That shit. I was countering that, by the way. Oh, fuck. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so strong. I do want to play Zongi. Ken's a crypto bro in story mode. I think he's also a um, private military contractor. I was blocking. Fucking loser, and I suck at this, dude. Fuck. It's so funny. Ken players are the only dudes that get tricked by the wake up shore you can. Everyone else catches on to it. That's a cross up. Pay attention. Laredo Potato. What's up? Wake up. I'm trying to trying to counter it. It's not working. Oh, Tim, come on, man.
Fuck me! Good game. Nice job. Nice job. Who's, uh, we got another player in the, uh, custom room. Let's get him in here. Who's up? Keen Goo. Keen Goo, uh, hold on a second. Let me go to menu, room settings. I'll set this up one on one. Okay. And now I can. No one has to leave where they're at, and I hate to put anyone on ice, but I want to give anyone a chance to beat the fuck out of me. So, Chicken Cutlet, I would say that was a good match, but you got me, and I understand. That's cool. Uh, Keen Goo, you're up, bro. Hop in. Put your fucking quarters up. You think you can also beat my ass? Let's see. And then, let's give him, like... There he goes. Oh, man, it's that fucking big gladiator lady. I keep getting my fucking ass penetrated by her. Here comes a new challenger. Fucking shit. Ah. You gotta do this. Come on. Give me your best shot. Oh, uh, you play World Tour to get the alternate costumes. Gotcha. Damn. I love this level, by the way. Oh, you can see their um, group affiliation, their club affiliation under the uh, username. So uh, you see up under my Ken profile, it says 3181LP, Bronze League, and FG Army. So thank you, Keen Yu, for joining the FG Army. I appreciate you. Oh, fuck. Better pay attention. Oh, I... I'm still getting used to the joystick. Damn. Hey guys, are we pumped on Mortal Kombat 1? We're playing Skim Milk. We're playing on PC. Let's do a rematch since I gave uh, Chicken Fuckface or whatever a rematch. I'll give you one as well. We're playing on PC on Steam. My Capcom ID is Girthworm Tim. Our controller hardware is a Mayflash Universal, Ar Universal Arcade Stick F500 V2. Not that it really matters, but people like that kind of information, so I love sharing it. Crushing hook. I like this. I did see a little bit of the gameplay trailer for Mortal Kombat 1. It looks like something I could definitely sink my fucking bird into. I think we're doing a Street Fighter 6 stream at um, Good Boy Comedy, by the way. We're going to invite all the dudes to come around that want to stream with us and play and see who wants to try to button. Oh, fuck. See what kind of button mashing we can get out of these idiots. I'm sure LeMare will try to get some. Oh, shit. That was close. When is that? Unscheduled so far. Let's uh, let's go back to the room. I gotta go get a rematch against um, Chicken Cutlet. Chicken Cutlet, hop in. Cabinet two. Kingu, thank you for the matches. Thank you for joining FG Army. 
Look how fun this is. Code 6969 to join our custom room. Come try to beat my ass. GG, citizen. <laughs> I'm gonna go Zangief after this. Gotta do this. Come on. Don't expect me to be a pushover. Don't expect me to suck your meat. Okay. Wow, that's a nice combo. I was blocking. I was blocking when he hit me. That didn't count. I like that combo. It lands a lot. It could be stronger. I thought that was going to land. I'll take one round. I'll take one round. That feels good to get. Well, let's get the second round. Let's get a full fucking match out of this. Was that hitting? Whoa, whoa! Not what I meant to do, but it landed. That was me, right? Was that the correct Ken? Damn. Let's do that again. Best of three. Lagging. I'm lagging. Come on. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Can we confirm Mike Trainer is Chicken Cutlet? The retard of the year himself. That's not good. Hadouken! 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 Hadou
All right, I'm gonna change characters. Let me back out and change characters. How do we? So overall, guys, we're in the we're in the last quarter of the stream right now. I'd say YouTube's a hit. It's going well. <clears throat> How do I X character? Let's go Zangief. Who I don't remember his moves that I learned already. Um, actually, I don't remember anyone's combos. I've really only spent any meaningful time with Ken, so. Let's do, let's do Zangief, just because he's fun. Yeah, and then, what's his... Damn, this costume's so cool. Okay, that'll do. Alright, and then, someone jump in. Yeah, I like YouTube better. I'm gonna miss the money from Twitch, but we'll figure it out. And that's not... I, I shouldn't even put that thought in your guys' heads. I'm enjoying my time, and that's really all that matters. And we're on the we're on the correct path forward. Literally, nothing else is important. <laughs> About the same. That's good enough for me. Ooh. Oh no. How erotic is this? I'm gonna grab, it's not working. There we go, that's what I like. That's daddy's move. Ooh, big damage on the grabs. I could get used to Zangief. To Gif, they call him Gif. Oh no. I've always had an issue with the mechanics of that move. I, physiologically, it doesn't make a ton of sense to me. I've never seen this yet. The F5? And then the 360 pile driver? What an epic ending. How satisfying is it landing those command grabs? It's immensely satisfying. Butterly, brother, life is in a disarray. I'll get back to you. I will read that. What do you make of all the chaos? I mean, I make sick money, but people mostly are fucked and I am scared. Well, think about what you're scared of. What are you what specifically are you scared of? Are you scared of the effects eventually making their way to you of all the disarray you see? In that case, look around you. Have the effects of all the disarray had a substantial impact on anyone you know in real life? I think there's a chance that they haven't. I think there's a chance that if you examine the disarray closely enough, you'll see that it's mostly a controlled disarray. Um, sort of designed to just make you feel like there's disarray. You know what I mean? Think about think about every problem every problem GG Kingu. Think about every problem people have faced in history. And think about the resources they had at their disposal to address those problems. Think about how well equi equipped we are at the moment for all of the problems that we have. We've never been re more ready for them. We've never had more resources to combat them. And you said it yourself, dude, you're chilling. Um, I think the real answer is that stuff's not really that bad. And yes, I will leave these up for uh, replay. Oh, 
I think you're supposed to believe things are worse than they are because, uh, unfortunate truth, somewhere in the world, things are that bad. But guess what? That's not new, dude. Count your lucky stars. You were born where you were born and when you were born. You're not supposed to really acknowledge that you're highborn, but bro, you're in a first world country during a technological warp speed run that is completely unprecedented. The disarray you see is being marketed to you. People are paying to get the disarray into your head. What does that tell you? Life isn't bad, but a lot of the time fun costs money, and so life is pretty fucking boring. Ethan, you're in the right place, man. I'm here to promise you that that's not true. If you have access to shit, even a briskly moving creek and like $65, you can buy an inflatable boat and enjoy a summer in a way that you've never enjoyed it before. It doesn't cost much, man. The shit, I mean, again, the shit that you're being told is cool and fun, of course costs a lot of money. But that's the point. So, in conclusion, it's not that bad. If you're chilling, your holy duty is to make sure more people around you are chilling. I'm barely, I'm barely cool, and I spend every day making sure the people around me feel a little bit better. And then they see that, and guess who? Guess what part of me now they have? If if anyone wants to imitate what I'm doing, they have to imitate the part where I'm fucking just trying to make people smile. How far does that go? You know? Uh -oh, it's time to admit I don't really know any of Zangief's moves. Yeah, who cares if we switch to the fucking Chinese yen from the dollar? I've never had any fucking dollars anyway. It's all the same. It might as well be fucking Chinese money for how much of it I get. Tim, sit on a hog and spin. I understand your position, but it's easy looking over Gondor if you are not an orc. I'm Surprisingly, I'm losing the uh, Lord of the Rings reference there, but... I'm spitting it! Give it to me! What? No, I think I won that. I'm naked crab walking on my ceiling watching this, Tim. Fuck yeah. I don't know, man. I've been I've been desperately poor and I've I've been in a position to put away like two hundred dollars a month in savings. And I did, maybe those are both poor, but I didn't notice a difference in in the amount of fun I was able to have.
Enjoy yourself, man. Tim, I joined the club. Can I get some matches in? Yeah, go into, um, was that two? Yeah, I did two. Go into custom rooms. Join on me. Username Girthworm Tim. Um, the uh, Kingu has left us. Thank you very much for your matches. Passcode is six nine six nine. Jump on in. I'll be I'll be happy to have you guys. I appreciate you pointing out that getting mad over pedos shouldn't be a priority because I was really into that hard for a month. Well, here's the thing. You can get mad over whatever you want to. You can only take action over stuff that actually affects you. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Yeah, I, do, I don't like fucking pedophiles, but I have my own kids and I get to, every day I get to look over them. I get to watch over my own children every day. And I guess, you know, God forbid anything bad ever happened to them. But every night I get to go to bed and go, God damn, dude, another day where nothing, no disasters occurred. We mostly chilled, and sometimes we get to have a fucking blast. I hopped out, Tim. My internet's being whacked. Thank you for the matches. Thank you, citizen. That's it. So it's 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 on site for anybody. Passcode six nine six nine. I'm gonna get another uh, match in with uh, Mike Trainer while we're waiting. Yeah, figure this shit. We got time. I got I got probably you know a dozen or so matches left. I don't know, man. I think you'd be surprised how much fun you can have with how little access to money and resources you, you have, depending on where you look. God damn, dude, I can't. I cannot look at fucking key. He's doing this on purpose. Is that all you have? Oh no. That's such big damage. Isn't that nuts? I love the splash. Ooh, the grab misses though, huh? I don't know, man. If you don't feel like you're having fun, there's a change you have to make somewhere because... Hold on. There we go. Um... You're either surrounded with the wrong people or you're not surrounded with enough people. And if you haven't found your people in real life, you, dude, like, don't get me wrong, man. I love the whole, like, Philly comedy shit, and, like, you know, Philly comedians are fucking tight, and... I like that shit, but my real life is outside of comedy. My real life is, like, teaching kids martial arts, and, and you know, I, I'm, uh, you know, the, the people that I spend my time with there and stuff, and... Comedy, comedy really is my job. Like, I like this stuff. I like hanging out in live chats. I'm still, like, I still get joy from hanging out on the internet. And the second I feel like my time is being sucked into something that I'm only participating in because of, like, anger or, like, any feeling in my brain that flashes red, I go, whoa. Unless this needs me, I'm going to back off. 
There's plenty of stuff that is within my grasp that affects me that I can actually spend my time on. That's what I mean by don't waste your time getting mad about pedophiles on the internet. Obviously, if you see one, you know, go to jail for killing them. But for the most part, dude. Just try to get your fucking, try to get your meat sucked. June, gotta bounce. It's been a pleasure chatting and watching tonight, fellas. Thank you for joining us for the inaugural YouTube stream. The first of hopefully many. If I can survive without Twitch. I might, I might have to go crawling back to Twitch if this is a tough month financially. But I'm sticking around as long as I can. Bro, life ain't fun. It's mostly working by yourself. I agree with that, by the way, too. Oh, I like how puff your cheeks out face she makes us. Makes us. Life ain't fun. I like that. So much throw damage. I don't know shit about Chun Li, by the way. Is this the new normal? Possibly. Do enough damage. Tony doesn't do shit for damage. How are all the Stoner Dads doing? I don't know. Didn't you see the? Can you see Sid's update video on the Stoner Dads channel? I feel like that's got all the information you need. I'm changing characters. I don't like her. Um. Oh, I, I don't remember anything I learned about this character earlier, but I'll play as her. Oh, I thought Sid broke down the current state of the standard ads pretty well in his update video. Hi! Don't, why do they all make that puff cheeks face? It's weird. bad at this. God bless you, T-Puffs. Thanks for hanging out with us. Dr. Beat Them Cheeks, thanks for joining us as late as you need to be. You're here now, and that's all that counts. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think... Listen, I get the sense that people think I'm full of shit when I talk about, you know, 
the way I see things, and it, it's... What, what do I have to get out of pretending things are better than they are? If anything, if anything, I could make a lot of money by telling you guys that you should be scared and I'm the only one with answers. Instead, what I'm telling you is that you have everything you already need. Hang out for as long as you want to and be like greedy and aggressive about having nice times with you and the people around you. Again, this will all become vibrantly apparent Let us begin. with the release of Field Tripping with Tim Butterly featuring Noah. Ooh, I like you can chain the um the light sure you can into a juggle. I don't know if you can chain that or if it knocks down every time. Just trying to figure out which of his um, moves are the same as Kins. That felt good. Getting that nut out. Chill or be chill. Dunbar said it best. Oh, is that a knockdown every time? Oh, wait, that one doesn't. Ooh, that's a fast one. Ooh. Oh, no. Don't give in to despair. If, please, if you, if I could just ask a favor, no one, no one give in to despair. Anything else, dude, I'd rather you become a fucking drug addict than think that things are so bad that you're not allowed to just enjoy yourself or even that you can't afford to have fun, man. You're, right now, the people who have money want you to believe you can't afford anything and also for some reason the people who have never earned anything for themselves, can't afford to live on their own anyway, also want you to believe that they that you can't afford anything for yourself. And it's like, well, was is everyone fucking... Hold on, I gotta win this. There we go. Brought in the dub. Like, go read the fucking anti-work subreddit. So actually, I'll tell you, two of my guiltiest pleasures are um, on Reddit are anti-work and stand-up, which is just... So, all right, I gotta make time for Stindhaven. Stindhaven. Let me get one. Let me get a series in with Stindhaven against with my best character, my Ken main, until I get a better main. But think about this. Yeah, two of my guilty pleasures on on Reddit. Um, stand up, which is open mic comedians like sharing advice with each other. Oh no, do we lose Stindhaven? Stintaven. Here comes a new challenger. That was too much. <coughs> I thought it wasn't pulling. <coughs> <coughs> but yeah, <coughs> the um. <coughs> <Gotta do it. coughs> The, but so yeah, the the stand up subreddit is open micers like asking about like how much money should I plan to make in stand up comedy this year? I just did my first open mic and I'm just trying to figure out my tech and it's just that's so fun. But look at the anti work, anti work, and essentially it's like people talking about like you know the the proletariat and the bourgeoisie and. The workers and the ruling, like, it's all communism LARPing. And it's like, uh, can't believe my boss, like, it's all just like people being mistreated by their bosses. 
but then you look at the actual jobs these people are doing, and it's like the most low-level horse shit ever. It's like, dude, you don't even have a real job. If you're complaining about, like, your McDonald's shift manager, like, overbooking your shifts, it's like, dude, stop fucking working at McDonald's. Like, I agree, people that work at McDonald's should be paid more, but don't think that there's some global movement waiting for you to figure out, like, how to exactly stick it to an obese woman who can barely read and is responsible for telling you one to come to work every day. So these are the fucking broke retards that are like playing directly into the hands of like our essential like great American oligarchy who want you to think that you you can't afford anything that's good. However, guess what? You, there is a lifestyle that is out there for you and it costs exactly your fucking paycheck every week. You're fine, dude. Shit rules. The best it's ever ruled. <laughs> if you've ever had a cool boss, you're a f you're guess what? You're an actual retarded person. If you've ever been like, "Nah, my boss is actually cool." Guess what? You're a fucking retard. Shut up. I'm getting sloppy. I got wine fingers. That's, 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 all right, we're getting back on the combos. Shreen Hyven, not bad play, by the way. Good job. Learn to weld is another one. That's If I have to get it back into the workforce, I'm going to learn how to weld. Or bake. I know how to bake a little bit, but I might... I think I'd like to be an, like an earnest, wake-up-while-it's-still-dark-out baker. Just because farmer's not really feasible in my neck of the woods. That was pretty cool. It's hard to do that into the um, super arts, huh? That's cool. This is gonna be cool. I'm mad about this, but it's cool. Nice. Butterly's pastries and fabrication. It's exactly where I'll be in a year from now if uh, field tripping fails. So she's still chilling because she beat my ass with that in the last round? I gotta turn her music off. It's too loud. I wish then it was a throw. Oh, I don't like how far he moves when I'm not ready to on that. Nice wake up, Tim. Good job. Whoa, stole the round. Hmm. All right, one more against Strindhaven to tie break, and then it's bedtime. Oh, Kenny's seeing Lewis tomorrow. Hell yeah, he's a great time. I like, uh, you know, I, I, anyone that's been gracious enough to let me open for them um, in stand-up, I try to learn something from, um, especially if they take me on the road with them, which Lewis has done multiple times and tried to even more than I was able to. There's some real cool traveling I missed out on with Lewis for other obligations, and I, I'll regret it, and I just, anyway. He, his, his shows just feel like such a fucking party, and it almost seems like 
he's ready to abandon his material at any given time if something funny's happening in the room, and I just think it makes it so fucking fun to be at the show. I know, I know you get some fucking dry dick, you know, glasses pushers that are like, uh, actually, actually, he does crowd work because he's a weak comic and his material should be stronger and it's like you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about the idea the 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 way that gomez can turn a stand-up show into like a giant living room party is his strongest suit and it's the funnest shit in the world i'm i'm so fired up right now at the because i know no one wants us to have fun and i i feel I'm, I'm kind of burnt out from working on my show about trying to have fun in spite of that shit, and it's... I'm, I spike my blood pressure. That's the set. That's game set match. Well, this has had the same jokes for five years, and I always like his shows. I don't know, man. I saw him with a pen and paper working shit out. That was great. Um, let's thank our guests tonight. Chicken Cutlet, Mike Trainer, Strinhyven. Oh, Raging Snark. Let me get one against Raging Snark real quick. I can't leave him hanging. He, he sat there quietly. He didn't bother me in the chat. Raging Snark's getting one, and then we're going to bed. And then we're getting in the inflatable hot tub. But no, Lewis is the man. Uh, and when I told him about field trip and he was like pumped on it and he was like, oh, I might have an idea for some events we could do too. Like he wanted to get involved. I don't know, man. Ah, oh, you ruined my fucking perfect. Out of my way. Round two. Yeah, I'm wine drunk. I will fight someone for Luis J. Gomez right now. Okay. I like the Blanca costume in the background. That's cool. Um, let me see. How can I do a hot tub stream? Uh, I'll do. I'll do the rematch. We'll get the. Let me. Let me get two out of three. I fucking love Street Fighter Six. This is so nice. Hit request rematch. Come on, man. Now's your time to shine. Oh, he didn't make it. All right. That's enough. Chicken Cutlet, Strindhyven. Yes, Blanca is in this game. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Uh, Ishmaster, good point. I heard about you and Rainy from Real Life Podcast. Yeah, the dude fucking puts me over like I'm paying him to. And has never once, like, asked for anything except for me to, like, take opportunities from him. Damn. This is good. You know what? This isn't this isn't high energy music, but this is perfect good night music. Was this Chrono Trigger? Gang. I'd love to see some Resident Evil. I haven't had a chance to play four yet. Because my twelve year old's dragging his feet on Resident Evil 2. Which I finished, and I still want to play three. Maybe we'll play. Maybe we'll play Resident Evil three. Um, thank you guys. Thank you guys very much for being here for the inaugural um, YouTube live stream. Maybe this is the way forward. Maybe not. Follow follow the Twitch channel just to be safe in case I have to retreat there to feed my family. In case they bend me over the barrel and force me to stream on their platform to make ends meet. But. If I if I were to if I were a betting man, my money's on me. I think field tripping and utilizing the the YouTube channel will more than make up for um, whatever Twitch was contributing.
Thank you for the stream. Cannot wait for fuel tripping. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Thank you. Co-op Resident Evil would be a great stream with Bender. It would. I don't know why I'm protecting my kids from my content. You know? They are a direct reflection of my personality, and I shouldn't have any um, hesitation to show that. And I know that... I don't want to seem exploitative, but I do like spending time with them, and I'm trying to show you guys how I enjoy myself so that you have both a blueprint and something to consume while you figure out how to enjoy yourself. This is the mission this is the mission statement. Thank you very much. I'll uh You took down your pedophile streamer video, did I? I don't think I did. Maybe YouTube did. Whatever the case, this was nice. We'll do more. Thank you for everything. I'll uh I'll see you I'll see you on Tuesday. And we'll I guess we'll have to recap the cat story again. Thanks for the matches. Good night, everybody.